Alright guys, what's up? It is Total Boy. Have a bit of a checkup video here. As you guys may or may not know, I am going for a dark matter in this game, Black Ops 4. Started a couple weeks after the game actually came out, so wasn't on the grind initially. But I was like, hey, you know, we got dark matter in Black Ops 3. We, we gotta do it in Black Ops 4. So, just gonna show you the, uh, the progress I have made. We're, we're past, we're well past halfway, but still got a long ways to go. So, I'll show you the guns that I have, gold, that I have diamond, the classes, and then what I still need to be able to complete the uh, Black Ops 4 Dark Matter Camo Challenge, yeah? Okay, so, here we go. First of all, what, what we got on the screen right now, just just a rocket launcher. This actually took a while, I was, I was playing it as a secondary, playing some DOM, you know, every time you enemy called up a UAV, any sort of streaks, POP! They're gone. So, yeah. Got that gold, that is good stuff. Moving along with the secondaries, got the pistols diamond as you can see here. Here's the strife. Looks pretty solid, you know. Nice little old-fashioned regular old pistol, you know. No, not anything special. That one was actually really easy because if you're playing hardcore, this gun is amazing. It it fires down sights, like aims down sights insanely fast, and you can just one shot people so so quickly in hardcore. So that one was relatively easy. Next, we got the RK7. So like the RK5. Um, Garrison. This one also looks, you know, you know, it's decent. Uh, this one was a tad harder because three on burst. It was just a little harder to get the those headshots that you need. But hardcore still didn't matter. Took a few games. We got that. And then the Mozu. This thing was actually so fun to use. I can't tell you. You put a scope on this. Look at this thing. It, the, the scope. It's like a freaking sniper rifle pistol. And even if you're playing poor, if you put on a high caliber, it's a one tap to the head. You can one shot headshot people in regular core game modes with this thing. And so that was really fun to use. I actually enjoyed that a lot. Got uh, the headshots done with that real fast. So moving on. Still with the secondaries here. Got the MOG-12, the, the pump action shotgun from this game. Got it diamond. This one was actually probably one of the easiest guns, if not the easiest gun I've gotten gold um, to diamond because y you don't need headshots with it. It's just one-shot kills. So you can literally play some hardcore dom and got it done in two games. Got, got the uh, 100 one-shot kills done in two games. 50 kills each was quite fun to use. Then we got the S12. This one you have to do headshots for. And my man, will I tell you, was that a grind? Because cause the, the hip fire spread and the regular spread on it is so insane. Even if I feel like I'm aiming at their head, it did not get a headshot. So that actually took a while. It does look pretty nice, I do have to say. The Mod 12 looks really nice diamond too. The, like the gold finishes, the gold touches around it. Really looks like a, a cleaned up gun. Treyarch did pretty good on the uh, camo jobs, I would have to say. So, next, ah, we're, we're done with the secondaries. I would like to point out, I don't have the combat knife diamond, um, and the, the launcher actually becomes diamond after you get all secondaries gold, after you get all them diamond. So I still need the combat knife to get that gold, to get the launcher diamond, then I'll have all secondaries done. But yes, that, that ought to be fun, running around with a knife mid-gunfight. Mm, mm, let me tell you. And then the bloodthirsties on that, dude, I will be camping in a corner. People will be thinking I'm a dweeb. Maybe because I am. Anyways, on to the primaries. Okay, so with the primaries, we have all of the assault rifles, diamond, the ICR. These are the first guns I actually got gold to diamond. Was a grind, let me tell you. I I'm just going to stop saying that word, but you, you know what I mean. Like, it takes a while to get these headshots. Um, so the ICR looks real nice. It is a laser beam. Then we got the Rampart. This one was fun to use as well. It kind of performs similarly to the Man of War from Black Ops 3. I don't feel like it is as good as the Man of War in Black Ops 3, but still does the job. This one doesn't look as well, I don't think, but it's it's still, you know, it's it's a diamond gun. <laughs> what, what else do you expect? KN44. I actually really do not like this gun in, a, or I said KN44, KN57 in Black Ops 4. I'm not a fan of this in this game. It has too much recoil, lower damage than you'd expect, and not, not my type of gun. Some people may like it, but I do have to admit it looks 
like this is one of my favorite diamond looking guns the barrel is all gold up there it's got the the diamond on the main part and the stock real finished up cleaned up looks real good uh let me know what your favorite diamond gun is in in the comments below on to the vapor this one i actually did the vapor before it got nerfed it got nerfed pretty heavy and now it, it it's still you know it's still it, it does the job it kills people it's pretty solid ar you know but it, it is not nearly as good they nerfed the fall off range of this gun in an update a week and a half ago or two weeks ago so it is not as good as it once was still looks really good i love the designs of these weapons in this game Next, the Maddox. This is currently my favorite gun in the game. This is the class I, I use if I want to, if I'm, if I'm trying to win the game. You know, we're we're trying to pub stomp a little bit. This is what I use. I'll, I'll put a optic on it and everything. I actually just prestiged it to the max to so I can put the kill counter on it. Uh, of which I don't actually know where the kill counter is on the gun because I've been in a game with it equipped and I can't can't see it. I don't know if I'm gonna have to look up that to to see some gameplay, see where it is. Anyways, performs like an SMG. It is an AR, so, and I'm I'm an SMG type player. But this is an AR dominant game, so this is my kind of gun. Moving on from the assault rifles, this right here is the Titan. Down to the LMGs, I have got the LMGs diamond. Look at that thing. This thing's a beast. It's it's a tank, man. The, the, I would hate to be running around equipping that like. In, in real life, dude, that, that weighs way too much. Looks pretty solid. It's got those blue rounds around the uh, the gun tips. Dude, I'm not a gun fiend. I, I actually... The bullets. Jesus. Um, so, it, it looks pretty solid. Not, not the best, not the worst. This is diamond, so we're moving on. Hades, this thing... This thing is insane. It's it's an LMG that has minimal recoil, so it kind of performs like an AR, but it also has really good mobility and shoots insanely fast. So it actually performs like a submachine gun, AR, light machine gun, tactical freaking combo. That's the, the hybrid. That's what it performs in. And, and my favorite part about this is what I run with this is the hybrid mags. So you can see right now, it doesn't have the barrel right there on the bottom. It's just gold. But if you put the hybrid mags on, it becomes all diamond, and that's where it shines, man. Look at that go. It, it, like the diamond all around it just looks insane. Those crystals just flickering around. So good, so good. Anyways, on to the next. Now we got the VKM. This one was a little harder to use. Shoots really slow, slimmer, similar to the Gorgon from Black Ops 3. I think it actually might shoot a tad faster than the Gorgon. Not not sure. If you guys know, uh, let me know in the comments. Not my favorite gun to use at all. This performs like an like a straight up classic LMG. Like you gotta stay back. This ain't no run and gun gun. <laughs> like this is straight up for long range, eating through through rounds. Anyways. <sighs> Moving on to the sniper rifles, this is actually the last gun of the video that I have gold. I don't have all the sniper rifles gold, that's what I'm doing right now, so trying to get the diamond for them. Oh, the Paladin. This this was really fun to use. The Paladin, as you guys definitely know, is the best sniper rifle in the game. One shot to like the chest and shoulders and, and head, does really good. You get a couple attachments on it, like a stabilizer. That oh, oh look at it wait look at it when it has the double stabilizer on it the the front barrel type thing looks real nasty it just gets tricked out compared to the regular I mean still looks like a good old fashioned nice old gold sniper rifle there but with the stabilizer even more so currently I'm working on the SDM um, which is actually really hard because it has such low mobility and I just got high cal on it. So I can one-shot people to the head now. Because I have to get headshots with it. It's going to take a while. And then the Koshka and the Outlaw will follow, try to get the sniper rifles. And then, all we have left is the tactical rifles. After I get those snipers, the tactical rifles, I have not done any of these. Get headshots on all those and all the SMGs. The SMGs shouldn't be too hard because um, it, it fits my play style. I can get those done pretty fast. I think I'll do the saw glass or I might even just do everything and then go ahead and finish it off with the combat knife. And that'll be so insane because I'll, I'll be like in a party with my friends. I'll be like, oh, you know, I need one more bloodthirsty to get dark matter. And I'll cover me, cover me. <laughs> it, it'll be so insane. I might even uh, make that a video. I definitely will actually at this point. So that is what we got going for this 
right now, you can see this is my class right now. Oh, I don't even have diamond on that. Diamond equipped. Uh, since I just prestige this, I don't have all the attachments for it. But if you guys like this video, be sure to like the video. I think that's about it. Let me know if you guys have dark matter, or if you have diamond, what guns you have, diamond, gold, everything, everything up to that extent in the comments down below. You can just spurt it out. I'll, I'll read through all the comments. So, guys, if you like the video, be sure to like the video, and I will see you on the next video. That's a lot of videos.